Welcome back to the channel. Today's video we're going to be checking out the Eric Hill infrared thermometer and the model is the Rook 600 SP. Let's get it open and check it out. Okay, looks like you got a nice little holster for your thermometer and it has like a belt loop which is Velcro you can put on your tool bag or your belt and it comes with two AAA batteries and an instruction manual. Okay, Eric Hill, Rook 600 SP, infrared thermometer. And our temperature range is negative 54 degrees Fahrenheit to 1112 degrees Fahrenheit and equivalent to negative 50 Celsius to 600 Celsius. And let's see, we got a 12 to 1 ratio. And if you want to put your batteries in, flip the door open right on the handle, and we'll throw those in. And we'll just press the trigger to activate it. And you let off, you hear the little beep. And you can see that we're on Celsius. So I'm going to hit the temperature button, flip it over to Fahrenheit, hit the trigger, it's scanning. As soon as you let go, you hear the beep and it locks in your temperature. And let's see here, we got this is your laser button. So if you press the trigger, you can see the laser on the wall. And if I press this button here, the laser dot goes away. So you can choose to have that on or off. And if you long press that, your backlight goes off. If you want to run it without a backlight, hold it back in. There's our backlight back on. And we'll go through the modes. Let's see, we got max, min, AT, EMS, cal. High, low, and then back to our regular operating mode. Now, inside the manual, it'll tell you what all the symbols mean on here in each mode. Here those are right here. They're numbered. Go down the side here, uh, and it even tells you how to operate it. And let's see. And then we got our emissivity which is gives you a nice little chart over here and that you know basically emissivity is the measurement of the object's ability to emit infrared energy so depending on whatever you're trying to get a temperature reading on it gives you the material down these columns and then right here is your emissivity so you can adjust it there's settings down here Hold it in, push uh, up and down buttons to go through to set up depending on what type of material you're testing. I don't get in all that depth with it here. I just use it to scan, take a temperature. It's good for uh, checking the temperature. Maybe you want to show a resident or a customer you got you know cold air coming out of the vents. The AC is working properly. Hold it up there to the register just to show them, hey, it's you know 50 degrees coming out or or maybe it's not working and 68 in the room and you got 68 on your display so you know your AC is not cooling properly you can check the temperature of whatever you're cooking you know whatever type of meat you're cooking so it's good for uh, multiple uses it's gonna come in handy and give a shout out to Eric Hill for sending this out for me to test out and I'll leave a link in the description below if you're interested, you can pick one up from Amazon. Alright, well thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.